Oh, hey, good morning, guys. How are you doing? Um, today we're gonna work uh, with some sample libraries called Sample Tracks Vocal Shock. Um, let's check what else from Sample Tracks. Okay, we're gonna use for some um, trailer ish hover sound assign. So let's check that Sample Tracks. So we're gonna do some hover trailer sound assign today, and we're gonna use um, Sample Tracks Rituals, Sample Tracks Vocal Shock, um, Sample Tracks War Cello FX. Maybe some other stuff from there to stay in the hoverish um, uh, genre. And we're gonna use some organic sounds from uh, Mammoth Audio Density. So I would say let's start. We um, change to the Cubase stream. Okay, perfect. So, we're gonna start today. Um, let's just save that. Okay. We go to 
my publisher track number 11 and called it 11. So basically, um, I composed 10 tracks for Trailer Beast number 4 in different genres and sound design, like maybe guitar stuff and some other ping um, sound design stuff, alarm stuff, you know, typical drum stuff, etc. And I'm missing two tracks for the album, and those two tracks gonna be uh, in the horror Trailer Beast sound design genre. So we have uh, a diversity on the album to say we have always different genres on a trailer song. Okay. Okay. So what we need are some basic um, receipts. For example, let's check that. Um, we need some um, hits. Definitely. So I got my own folder with my own hits in there. My favorite stuff from Aza. Let's check that if it's in 120 BPM. No, it's 130. So we're gonna change that. The hit 130 to 120. Yeah, that's it. And we need a lot of hits. Um, we're gonna stay again in the range of 1 minute 30 for short sound design cues. Otherwise, it's too long. And basically, this album is focused on TV spots. And short sound design trailer cues. Okay, so we don't need to go further than uh, 130. Copy that. So we have some basement again going. I always use my favorite hits from Acer. But it's just a matter of time. I change them again. Just at the moment, those are my favorite hits. Okay, so we fill the arrangement with some basement basic. Um, Ingredients, I would say. So we need hits, risers, downers again. Okay. Basically, they are just at the moment placeholders. If I go to my folder, favorite uh, mix stuff in there. So it's always the downer from Arcade. Here. Put it at the moment. So the downer. So basically, I could uh, replace them then later with some other. To understand I have that if I have the feeling it needs to be okay. We need a riser and we take again my favorite riser from Apple Two, I think. Got it sampled here by myself because I don't like to work with um, um, MIDI files in trailer sound design. Okay. Because with a WAV file, I can control this stuff much, much better. And see what's going on in the arrangement and MIDI. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a, it's a matter of taste, I think. Um, yeah, but uh, I really pre prefer to work here with um, wave files. Okay, so let's see. Let's do some other folders here. Let's call them screams because we're gonna work with screams from Vocal Shock today from sample tracks. And what else? Let's call another folder maybe Brams because we definitely gonna need Brams. I know you are all tired of Brams, but this is what is working in trailers still. So why should we change what is working? And we're gonna put in again some clocks, maybe from sample tracks, maybe from Mammoth Audio. They have some really nice organic clocks in there. Okay, so I would say. We start with screams, okay? So let's check some screams from Vocal Shock. I haven't touched sample tracks Vocal Shock yet. Sample tracks here. Samples. What I always prefer is when a sample library not only offers a contact instrument, but also the samples as WAV files, so it makes it easy to me to drop them into the project. Because uh, I cannot, I think with Cubase 11 right now, I can also import other files here. Um, but I really prefer to have again to have um, vocals. You see, we have washouts, monster, vocal boom, vocal design. So let's give you that a bit. like it 
and also what would be great for the future if those are labeled to a specific BPM. So for example, I would know this um, sample is 110 PPM or something, you know. Uh, but this is not the case, so I need to sample that by myself right now. Let's check where's the beat. And call that VS for vocal shock. Dream, man. The wave file bigger. We sample that now to 120 ppm. Beat starting. See, this is taking time now. So the best option would be that all samples they got are sampled to a specific BPM. And I would uh, say 120 is still the best for that. Let's check that. Okay. Yeah, almost. Me. So let's put in my favorite reverb again. Yeah. Come on. And I don't like here the start of the sample, so I take that a little bit out. With this. Turn it back. So this is now sampled to 120 BPM. What I do right now, I style this in to the first beat. Because now you can see when I move that, it's always on beat, on the, on the start of the beat here. Okay. Perfect. Oh, from the beginning, let's save that again. Okay. Don't want to have especially at the beginning, directly hits, move that forward. The intro should be kind of sparse. Okay. Here I would like to go with plugs, um, with plugs from a cello or something. So. Copy that folder, hold it, cello blocks, and let's see what sample tracks has to offer for cello stuff here. They got an own library called what is the name? Raw Cello FX. Okay, so let's search for some plugs. We got hit, design bow, crescendo, screech, push, well, X, maybe screech. No, maybe chill hit. This is kind. Nice. Luck. Let's check that. Hey, Benny and BC, how you doing? My man. Great to see you. So this is still a little bit too much for the beginning here. We'll move that a bit forward. I think I also moved yellow parts here. Again, 
we need to generate more attention. So we're going to build it up here. Let's play it back again. Benny? Yeah, see me doing some magic here. I'm not sure if it's yet magic, but uh, I try my best to do it, okay? <laughs> but it's so different from uh, R&B stuff we did. But I'm pretty sure we're going to do some stuff in the future again. I'm just waiting for the right time right now because I need to finish trailer stuff. And then let's go into R&B again a little bit. Hey, guys, you can check a single I did with Benny Busy called Crazy For Your Love. Just uh, Google or type in into YouTube... Um, Audio Attack or Benny Busy called Crazy For Your Love. It's a great singer. Benny, feel free to copy the link. In. Let's it back again. So again, we, we, we're gonna do that very simple and effective, okay? Again. Um, the key for horror sound design is um, let the track breathe. Don't put in too much, you know. Um, imagine, or just watch uh, recently new released uh, horror trailer, um, trailers, trailer, trailers, okay, horror movie trailers. They are very sparse, organic sounds with cello and plugs and violins, and just a bit there is going on to generate tension. The track is not so full. It's not massive, totally full with drums and kind of stuff. So our trailer sound design again is kind of easy to do, but um, the hard thing here is again to generate tension with easy, simple stuff. And this is not so easy to do. So <laughs> yeah, it's always a mix of both. Okay. Um, this is working the intro. So we got an intro of 16 bars around 30 seconds. And uh, my plan is to put in here um, Density by Mammoth Audio. Let's check where I got this. I think I got it in FX Density. Here it is. Because they recorded some really nice cello licks. Um, I think uh, Wikram, the owner of Density, uh, Mammoth Audio, told me it was recorded with an extremely expensive uh, cello. And you can hear that it's uh, intimate. And yeah, so we got the plugin opened. Let me search again where it was. It's playable loops. Not the clocks. Maybe we look later for the clocks. Cello rhythms. Let's check them out. Okay, I cannot hear anything. Sample head. Check that. Let oh okay. Let's check if you can hear at all anything. Let's put in another plugin. Yeah. So let's check where is the issue. It might be my fault here. So it's rooted, good. Okay, playable. Like for instrument, cello. I see it, it was maybe loading. Oh yeah, it's loading. Okay, but I wanna have the loops. So oh, let's check cello rhythms. We search for the key range. Oh, I got it. It's really in the, in the deepest key range of C0.
yeah, let's check that. Something kind of like this. But maybe we stay on a note. We have much too much reverb here going on. So I take that back. I have it a little bit more intimate, okay? So again, let's record it. So we're gonna keep that line here as simple eight triples, okay? We call that cello, eight triples. And we're gonna put on top some other lines here, I think so. So what I do right now, I wanna have that directly as audio, okay? I don't wanna play around with MIDI here. So let's render that in place. We can do something like this when we know, okay, we're going to keep um, the thing as it is, okay? So this should work. Copy, paste. Nice. And I want to use again the scream here. Okay, break here. Gonna do a break here again. Also hit point, uh, not hit point, uh, cutting point for the trailer editor. And gonna do a short visor to also transition into the new part, okay? And let's go. Okay, I got an idea. So we got here the cello plug uh, in the middle. So I copy that for the middle part here. Two times. I'm gonna call the cello plug one left. So I put that 50% to the left. Not five, 50, please. Okay. And I copy that to cello right. Don't ask me where my ideas are coming from. It's just right now in the moment. So I haven't done any script or something. It's what I do all the time. Or let's do that simply and see how it's working at the end. Okay. So left, right. So basically what we are doing, we're gonna um, pan in the middle part here, this height um, cello plug from sample tracks one time to the left, one time to the right. So we have something different going on than at the beginning here. So this is very important to always um, deliver to the audience something new going on. You know, we don't want to have simple copy paste or something because it sounds boring. So we're gonna change that a bit here. Okay, I think we need to pan it a little bit more to the left and to the right. 70% that has more effect on it. Nice. So, okay, play back again. Nice. And what I like to do is um, in how a trailer sound design using voices as a riser. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, 
I put in another voice. Uh, voice wiser. I have some um, special samples um, prepared just for myself. I did together with Johnny Full Fulder or Fuller, she's called Johnny Fuller. She's very great for bespoke samples, especially with voice and other stuff. So this is now sampled samples just for me. Okay, you cannot get it out there. Voices. Okay. Johnny Fuller exclusive samples. Here we got it. Think it shuts. Uh, yeah. Here it is. Um, we just need to sample that right now again to 120 ppm. And you can hear this specific voice riser already in a trailer for Swamp Thing on the CW network. Okay. I show it to you maybe later. It's in a track I did for BMG. Let's check that. Yeah, I just need to take back the hybrid riser a bit. So if you got a chance to get some bespoke own samples just for yourself, this is always good because that's a part you can stay out from the audience, you know, uh, from the other composer, sorry. Okay. Back. You see, let's play that back solo. Nice. Great job, Joni. Okay, we go into the next part and we need some faster uh, licks here. So we have eight tripled. Let's see for 16 stuff maybe. That's not fitting then to triple maybe. Maybe some kind like this. Let's check that. It's working. I think we're gonna need some playable stuff here. Ooh, let's see. One shot, I think it was. No, it was playable instrument cello. You see, you can play in your own licks here. So let's experiment a little bit what is working. That's too melodic, so we need to look for something different. So let's just play back the cello. Yeah, this is working. And See, those are, I think, 16 notes. No, triplets, also triplets. Yeah, yeah, 16, eight, eight notes, yeah. So let's quantize that first. This is working perfect. I need to say I haven't found um, a cello sample library like this before, which has this um, intimate modern organic sound we need nowadays for trailer sound to sound. Okay, okay. So let's um, mix that properly in. Where are we? Okay, it's red here, but don't look at this. It's not yet mixed. 
or we take it a little bit down and play back again. And let's put control save, have it saved. Just need to mix it better in. Let's check that. Perfect. And we need again a riser here. And we're gonna put in also the vocal riser here. Okay, so and let's check again from the beginning. See, we are almost 70% through the track. Maybe let's check if we can get here some kind of ambience in. So boom, 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 or maybe the clock. Let's put in a sample from um, mouth audio called Tick. I think it was for free. Yeah, this is a nice organic clock. <laughs> But I just want to have it half as fast. So I'm gonna do it different. I'm gonna cut it for my own needs. Just like this. Like that. Yeah. Good work. Ding. Boom, boom, okay. Check. Something went wrong here. Okay, this much too much we were up. I wanna have the same clock then going double speed here in the middle. Playing together with a half speed clock. Yeah. But because it's the same sound, we need to phase. Okay, and phase. How are you doing, people? I hope you have fun a little bit here. Okay, we don't need to deface that. Because we simply use it like this. Uh, 
and let's put in here a downer. Middle part. Can you do a trailer track with German Schlag elements? I don't think so. I never did that before. <laughs> and I'm not sure if this would get used in any kind of trailer, okay? Uh, just if you have a trailer, Schlager, horror movie or something. So maybe this is working, okay? So second part here, we need to go a ramp up and put in maybe some kind of organic alarm sounds. So let's check that if we have something like this. Here, but again, I want to use density only on one channel, so I'm gonna render that again in place. Just much safer to have it later in audio because you never know what happened in a later session with MIDI, you know. So I prefer to do it. Do we have something here for alarms? Let's check that status transition. Downers, Brams. Subtle, yeah. Rooms. Let's check something else. Bones, maybe. Where are you, bones? One. Here we go. Yeah, I think this could work. Let's check that. Let's put it in as a wave file again, so uh, we can control that again much, much better. We render that in place. Do, 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 do. Simply love the render in place function by Cubase. Okay, let's check that. <laughs> What I hear in this part is we gonna put in another screen. You okay? So let's check that part again. And uh, we could use maybe another plug kind of instrument here, organic plug sound, maybe from more cello, FX, sample tracks, something in the highs, you know. Ooh, we have a cello FX, check that, design bow. Hmm. Nice, ooh. That's extremely hobo-ish. Let's check that. Okay, 
this is working. We need another hit here. Okay, let's play it back that second part again. <laughs> Still a bigger reward because I want to have that wing out a little bit later. Let's solo that sound. Nice. Very great stuff from sample tracks here. Makes our job so much easier to do. Again, let's ramp up the speed a little bit. Maybe this makes sense. Okay, and we need the cello plug in the middle. Let's play back again the whole middle part. And I want to have silence here, no hit. For a longer time till beat uh, 35. Again, what's the key? Breaks here, okay, in silent points. Play back the part. Okay, we could test something out if this is working, some kind of legato chamber string. And we have here the chamber strings by Bitfire. Mm, let's check for the ensembles. Yeah, thankfully I we batched the patch here, so it's loading now much, much faster. Otherwise it would take ages. Check that. Okay, this is long. And I would like to have some kind of movement. Chamber strings. Mix that in a little bit louder. Oh, I see it's not booted. Maybe this is working. Let's check for a line we can put in here. Let's experiment a little bit. Okay, so what is happening right now? I think the keyboard said goodbye. No, oh, it's working. Thank you. <sighs> Sweating here. But just for the next part. Okay. 
Something kind of like this. Okay. Let's check that again in the mix. And I don't want to have it longer than this part is going. Doesn't sound good if it's playing alone. Nice part. Okay, we need now something very fast here going on. Now we need faster hits. And some trumps, I expect. I think we're gonna go here with damage too, maybe. Let's build it right now. We need it like this. Four parts. Okay. Boom, boom. I think we also gonna need then here faster cello licks. Okay, so we go to playable. Instruments, shallow. Let's check something. Okay. It, it, it doesn't sound very good right now when I play that, but later in the mix, you're going to see if it's when it's uh, mixed in, it's much better. Okay. Okay, I know, doesn't sound very good at the moment, but again, we're gonna mix that in very nice, so it sounds kind of like life, okay? I see, let's play them both together, how this is working. Okay, let's go with the um, ripples. Okay, just need to rename that properly. Cello eight ripples. No, nope. maybe we just need to layer. Another line underneath that, like this. this, should sound better then. You see. We added the second line and this is working then better. Okay, so we polish the first line, which is not sounding so realistic with the second line, which makes it realistic, more realistic. We need this all double. Length. Okay, like that. And I think this is going then to 51. Oh, sorry, my fault. And you realize we still haven't used any bramps really here. Okay. Like 
that back together. Let's put underneath a low chamber line. Maybe this is right now much too long. We go over one minute, th one minute 30, but let's check that. And put in some drums. <laughs> Last part. And I would say let's introduce here some brams. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop brams. What are we gonna use? Maybe sample tracks brams? What do you think? Put them in. Just need one and see. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Sample tracks. Um, brams. I think they are labeled to the key. This bram should work, but we need to change it again. Bram sample track C. Reverb again. Then again, pull it out. Okay. Check if we maybe bring it in here already. This. Yeah, it's not coming directly to beat number one. So, again, let's resample that. We cut that. Much. Yeah, this makes the job. And again, we're going to ramp up the speed here. Double speed with the hits. And later the drums. We still don't have drums in. Um, one. Check now where those put in. <laughs> see like this And again, speed up here. 
less blue beads. Okay. So the part is not yet done. Let's play that back again. Maybe we still can even go higher with a cello lick. Okay. Yo, Andreas Gajewski, how are you doing? Grüße aus dem Store. <laughs> An einem Samstag. Okay, let's check if we can go. One octave higher. I'm not sure. This is working. This too. And final hit here with a bram and just a bespoke scream and a scream after that, a scream visor. Nice. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna fill up the last part. Yeah, Andreas Gajewski, yeah, usual day, yeah, as you. <laughs> so I would like to have Scream again here. Okay, let me take again the cello plug to it, maybe. Okay, double speed again. I'm not uh, quite sure about the hits yet. I think I'm gonna sparse them out. Okay. Let's play again from the last part. And ramp it up, copy paste. Nice. And we haven't used any clocks anymore as at the beginning. Maybe we even bring them in then here. Let's play back again from the beginning. Andreas Gajewski, schaff mal was.
<laughs> no cold beds. We're gonna use the clock here again. I think through the ending and then beefed it up again. And we're gonna use some damage drums here. Damage number two, my new plugin for epic drums working almost in every kind of track. Two. The usual Armageddon drums. Yeah. Wait, let's check that. Nice sound, nice sound. Okay, let's label that. Damage 2. Chamber. And density. Again, Andreas would say much too much reverb on it. And he is right here. So we're going to lower that down. Because we want to have that intimate and not so far away, you know. Let's play something. Nice. Now let's quarter-size that. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Heavy, 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 heavy. Should work in eight till triples. Okay. Check that again. Okay. Let's tune that drone in. And if you watched my previous videos, you might know that I put in here cutting point. So basically I get in some silence and let the drums play alone in this part. I'm gonna push that with a visor. So this is kind of typical movement of myself. On my tracks to simply get arrangement wise more out of my track okay because at the moment it's just simple sound design But the drums getting lower at the ending, and they need to get more powerful with each hit, like this. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Andreas, the cowbells, cowbells are. Not here at the moment. They are out for some fancy drinks or something. <laughs> okay, let's play back again the track and see how it's sounding. But we are almost there. Okay, got an idea to introduce here my bespoke vocal visor.
Okay, we don't need a clock here at the beginning to we'll let the trumps more shine out. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I'm gonna overuse now the hits again. So people are gonna kill me, but I think we need the hits here. The ending. <laughs> okay. And what I really like is putting in some signature sound design um, at the end. And at the beginning of a track, because then the trailer cutter has the option to just just cut it out here, okay, like this, okay, and just use the signature sound assign then um, later maybe soloed in the trailer, you know, just like this. We too, like this. It's kind of like a circle that is um, closing, you know starting anywhere and closing you have that sound at the beginning basically it's um carrying carrying the track from the start till the end okay so i would say let's play back again everything and then i think we are almost done okay maybe we can bring in the drone also at the beginning where is the drone the drone is away. Boom, 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 drone. Here it is. Just like that. Spooky. I got an idea, maybe. Also, put in here one beat silence. Because the drone at the beginning works perfect. Nice. Hi, Michael Peterworth. You see. It's so simple but effective. We just have put in the drone here at the beginning and then put in here a bar of silence. And this is very effective in trailer horror sound design. You need to play with silence in horror sound design, okay? To give um, some empty parts of let the trailer shine by itself without any SFX or music. Boom.
nice part. One simple small thing we could bring in here some pings like bing bing bing, you know, uh, easily generating more attention with some high pings. So we're gonna use sample tracks ping. What else? Okay, it, anywhere here it's called a lot maybe yeah, ping. Dissonant, abstract, low metals. Um, I would say minimal. Directly the first one, that's it. Bing, reverb on it, get it into the same room, ambience. That's it. But I think I might detune that a little bit. Um, and I use for this little Alter Boy my sound toys. Yeah. Let's compare that to the program. Maybe this is a little bit too low right now. Check that. Just half tone down. Yeah, perfect. You see, now we have the ping tuned to the bam, so this is working better together. Okay. And again, I'm gonna cut in here cutting point without anything going on instead of the riser hit and drums. So, check something. Okay. Check that. And yeah. Like this. Almost. Oh wait, I just get messages to my Hey, I get messages to my watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Incredible times, yeah. So, oh. like this. Okay, let's play back the part again. Like this, okay. I think it should be this should be the ending, maybe. But just let's play that back again for less time in full length so we can make sure it is sounding really good entirely, okay? So let's play it back again.
this part. Yeah, that's working. What do you guys think? Does this work in a trailer or in a TV spot or something? What's your feeling about this? So, I think that's it again. Today we did some horror-ish trailer sound design for my new album, uh, Trailer Beast 4. Soon to be published by Warner Chapel Production Music Worldwide and non-stop trailers in the US, I think. Um, we have used some samples from sample tracks mostly, um, density from Mammoth Audio for the cello licks and kind of drones. Very nice plugin I need to say from Mammoth Audio. Um, for the drums we have used damage number two, but you could also use a damage number one for this, for the Armageddon drums. Um, but the damage number two Armageddon drums are mostly better than the first one. It has a totally different sound and it's fitting so good into some kind of organic epic stuff. Yeah, we have used some clocks from Mammoth Audio, Pick, I think it's called, it was a free sample pack from them. And uh, Ordinary SFX from Hybrid Tools from Adio and uh, a downer from Arcade, which is um, a sample library from Output. And yeah, even Bun, hey, nice track, thank you, like you too. <laughs> So yeah, so if you got any questions about a track, just leave them in the comments on YouTube or Twitch and I'll try to answer them later then. Uh, we still need to mix that, but uh, I don't gonna um, tease you or bore you out with some kind of mixing session again. It's always the same. I stem everything into group stems and mix them properly and have my same master chain uh, again going on with some exciter, EQ and limiter and that's it. So um, yeah. Just leave some questions or comments in the, in the comments below this video later on Twitch and YouTube. If you got questions, just let me know and I hope you tune in next time again and great having you here. Okay. So let me check. Oh yeah, I'm looking for the end screen. I'm looking for the end screen. So goodbye, my people. Thank you.